hasta acaba de pozo y allí encontró un extranjero pidiendo agua de beber y allí encontró un extranjero pidiendo agua de beber
Everybody out there, do you remember when they met Jesus was healing the blind man? And then he said, okay, how do you see? And the blind man was like, uh, I see. But you know what he was saying? I see men walking as trees. So he couldn't see clearly. So you know what that, you know what the word of the Lord said? That Jesus went at it again. And he prayed for him again. Why was that body of Christ? Because halfway is not enough for God. Amen? So we are going to believe God for total healing, not partial. Amen? Amen? Come on, somebody. Total healing. Because I said, God, I cannot imagine my, amen, vision, amen, being lost like that in any way, shape, or form. So we are all, everybody on the broadcast right now, God bless you, John, John, Cota, Sealer, Veronica, and John. God bless y'all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Look at that. Having colon surgery on Wednesday. Keep him in prayer. Oh, so that's John Quintana, mija. We'll put that on the prayer list. That is actually my husband's, amen, uh, cousin. Amen. Praise the Lord from, amen, New Mexico. So yes, we will definitely be praying for John. Amen, honey. Did you hear that? He's having colon surgery, and I will take that very seriously because, amen, that is no joke. Amen. My mother, amen, went through that horrible situation with colon cancer. And uh, so we are definitely going to be placing John Quintana in our prayers, amen, and on the prayer list today. Amen, Prezor. God bless you, buddy. God bless you, everybody. Thank you so much for his smooth, amen, procedure in the name of Jesus. That is right. But you know, body of Christ, Jesus, amen, Prezor said, that's not good enough. Halfway, nobody cries. We're going to believe God for a total healing and a total miracle, not just for him, amen, for not just for Christopher Barajas, but for, amen, John Quintana, amen, oh, praise the Lord, thank you for everybody Diana. else there that is listening. She messaged me, she said, please pray for my nephew, he just found out he has cancer in his stomach, oh, oh Jesus, Diana, his name him? is Juan Hernandez Jr., oh my Lord, someone put Juan Hernandez Jr., wow, yeah, yeah. Uh, very, very. So, you see, people have got, there's so much need and so many need for prayer. So, yes, we'll be praying. Oh, my God. Did you just find out? He just found out. Oh, she said. Horrible, horrible. So, we are definitely going to be praying. You know, people have got, yesterday, yeah. Mika went into the church, yesterday at church. She gave us some bad news. Oh, Talk yeah, about that, Mama, for a little bit, just because we're going to pray, not just for sickness, but for all of those that also, people have got, I've experienced loss, like Damon, amen, Lopez, and Nicho Lopez, who lost her daddy. Amen. We are going to be praying because. Because Dionisio, Dionisio Lopez, amen, senior, has passed on, amen, gone home to be with the Lord, amen, but he has his children, amen, praise the Lord, he is, amen, uh, Nicho and Damien Lopez, amen, so members of our church, so we're also going to be Jeremy. praying for the whole Lopez family and Aloisa family. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Yeah, she is on the way to church. My uh, Victoria had texted me and she's like, a picture of my friend who, when Victoria used to live with us, so she knew, you know, our neighbor. We, yes. He, um, we moved to the house when I was in fourth grade. I was 10 years old. And um, he passed away over the weekend. And I read the news and it was sad. He was defending his home, like two mass you know robbers came in the, the back he heard the noise I he went out the, scariest the thing, thing is I, I don't know his, house. I think his girlfriend was there because another uh, article said he was defending his home and, and fighting and if my friend's big y'all he's like Shaq he's like six foot what five six maybe huge and um but they shot him really and he person. passed and it brought such sadness to me because I was thinking of my childhood like when we yes. moved to Lake Jackson yes um he was the first, you know, neighbor friend, him, and there yeah. was another boy. Me and Angel played with boys who were little because we were bad. Yes, they were little boys. We were bad. We were, we were boys. We were always outside. Young boys. It's good. It's good. And, um, yeah, we would play kickball, dodgeball, and they played like if me and Angel were boys. Mm -hmm. But then we grew up, and then, you know, we, we were all in the same grade. Yes. Um, I told my mom, like, remember whenever we were in fifth grade, that's when they teach us about weather and stuff. Yeah. Tropical storm, uh, Francis came. When we were in fifth grade, and I was crying because his mom worked nights, and he was by himself. Yes, I know. And I was like, Mom, we got to go get Julius because he's by himself. And, and what if this happens? And I remember our street blood, and it looked like a river. It did look like a river. But before it got bad, I was like, please. And I don't remember if you or dad went. They ran to his house, and they called his mom. And he came and stayed the night, and we all camped out in the living room. Yes. And um, I don't want to just have all these memories. Yeah, well, he's such a beautiful kid. Oh, and I was just like, no, it's so it hurt. He called me mom. Everybody saw me, hi, mom. And I would yeah. just be my big old bear hug because he's like huge. And I had six years. Remember, I brought you But he, you know, he went to college and he played football. 
amen, at Texas A&M there in a Prairie View. So, amen, our condolences again to all their family. And uh, Mia was just, just, just bawling, and I'm like, oh, my God, it just hurt my heart. So we are praying, people of God, for not, amen, every family. You know, people of God, a lot of families are experiencing loss, like David and Nietzsche Lopez and anybody out there. Yes, amen, thank you, John John, and amen, yes, amen, he rest in peace. Yes, yes. yes. You know, and I, I guess it was sad because I was like, even when I was looking yeah. up to find out more information, I put, like, what had happened, and it, there was multiple stories within the last few days in Houston, and I'm like, God almighty, like, this is, you know, I guess it has to go on Houston. Houston is really, really bad. But, I think I thought about that mule to Pearland. Like, do I really, really want to do this? Do I really, really want to do this? Yeah, so y'all please yeah. keep uh, Julius Blanton's family in your prayers. It did make me sad. I was just thinking about to my mommy. We yes. went to graduate. We have the the memories of going to graduation yes. together, yes. leaving graduation, going home to change, yeah. going to project graduation, and staying at the school all night. And then we drove by. You know, we have memories from playing basketball. So my heart was sad, but I prayed for his family, his mom. Uh, I don't think he had any siblings for the longest. I know it was just him and his mama. Yes, yes. So that's yes. gotta be hard as like her only son, yes. you know. Yes, condolences to everyone out there, and we do lift everyone up in prayer, everybody. But why don't we go to start with the song, Mama? So that we Jordan doesn't some, even let uh, me. Can I pick a song? Yeah, I think Jordan is going to take you over the broadcast. Oh, he's already pointing at one song. No, sir, I'm the boss. He's saying, I want... What do you want? He's saying, I want Pastor Jerry Sanchez. You want Pastor Jerry, Jordan? <laughs> Say hallelujah. Oh, he wants a yo-yo. He wants anything. He hallelujah. Say Jordan. Hallelujah. Oh, 
she's, she's old. Uh, she might not make it through the night because she has a flu. And I would just worry about it in a minute. Policing out there in uh, the Baragan residence. Come on, you're the guy. You look at the man who's just haciendo es algo tremendo en el grande. Y el man who's just vamos a decirle al señor acepta, acepta mi padre santo, mi oración, mi clamor, mi alabanza, mi adoración a ti. Come on, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. I love it. I love it. I love it. And look at Pastor Jimmy Vera. Look at all the pastors. Pastor, everybody. They all have to play Pastor Jimmy Vera. Yay, Pastor Jimmy Vera in the house. Now, everybody, hallelujah. In our in our wedding attire, the word angels wedding, and um, finally we had somebody come in, and uh, I think I called no, this one was with John's family, so we had to post it because it's a surprise for John's mom. So the other one is our family picture, and I know y'all can't see this on my phone, but it is phenomenal. I'm like so 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 proud and so excited. But anyways, uh, we took our family pictures, and um, the, John was working on them last night, and I was getting so excited. It is awesome. It's off. Anyways, they came out really good. So if you're in the area and you want your pictures taken, um, go to www.johnramiresphoto.com and you can see uh, the different backgrounds that John has. Or just go to my page and share it. That way someone else can see it. Because today, right before, right? Yeah, right before I went to the basketball game. That's why I'm looking at this. I was screaming. We lost. But it's okay. Um... Yeah, and somebody called one of, uh, someone from, remember our old yeah. neighbor? Yes. He called, and, and hopefully he'll set something up with John. Yes. So go and share it. Everyone, I have to say, not just because it's my son, but I, this is what you call top-notch you photography. So top-notch photography. And uh, we're know. not the easiest uh, people to deal with. I know. Uh, I, know. I was, because as soon as he says, you know, okay, ready, I freeze. But someone blinks an eye, someone, someone does this or does that, it's like start all over. And yes, that's the patience and so forth, but if you know anyone, Jonah especially here in the Bridlesport area, who is looking for family pictures, I see Christmas pictures, but also days. people have got... Jordan and Fire. I mean, not just uh, family pictures, but I mean, not just Christmas pictures, but family pictures, because we did Christmas <laughs> pictures, but also we did family pictures as well. So what happened over there? Okay. And then we also did uh, family pictures as well. So if you're in the Brazosport area, it does not have to be Christmas. You can have the layout like we did. But please contact us. Or what is the website they can look at for, Mama? www.authorbasic.johnramirezphoto.com. There you go. It's on my page. johnramirezphoto.com. He did so good, y'all. And I'm telling you. I know. After we took our pictures, I told John, he just took one on my phone. Look at John said he... Uh, he I used my friend first. Yeah, she told us a story. It's funny. Yeah. No, look, he's so he's in a he wants to cuddle. Okay, good. no, but um, he did good. I told John like, the last time I felt really pretty like that, and it's gonna be weird, is when I was pregnant. When I took my maternity pictures and I saw the pictures that John took, those are the ones you should put too, John. I on your website. I felt so pretty, and I hate being pregnant. Like that was I I, I hated my back and not being able to sleep. But that's like the prettiest I ever felt until recent. When I saw that picture, I was like, oh my god. 
Aww. Yeah, because he just got the right angles, you know? Yeah. Other times, when you take your own picture, like, you get to put how you look, you know? Yeah. But he, yeah. he was like, just t- tilt your face or do this. And even though it feels a little weird, like, they know what they're doing. But anyways, um, we're going to listen to Pastor Jerry Garcia. Yay! And it does. Song. Pastor Jerry Gar- uh, Evangelist. Jerry Garcia. No, this is David and Tom and Tammy. Look, this is a miss of this is forever. But we guys don't know if you're nervous. You need to do that, Alia. Tell me what the fee is, Mama. You don't want to believe the fee. You want to be the Ninety-nine dollars. You put the set up, everybody. You don't have to take advantage. You will not find that nowhere else. So this is a lifetime memory on your films, on your immense social media. Follow those in the Van Horn area. We're going to be heading to Van Horn, Texas this weekend to give away our children's gifts. If you saw my Facebook page, uh, I did finally, finally uh, put that ad out there. So if you're in the Van Horn area, stay tuned. He's all cheaper with his Nana. If I go hug John, he'll come and slap me. Oh, we all do that. Do you notice that I'm wearing that winter clothing, Crystal? Did you even notice you make fun of me? You make fun of me today. You always do. I thought you looked racist. Okay, but why am I wearing winter clothes? It's gonna get cold. I know, but not yet. And then my legs went in some water. I walked outside and it was not even cool. I felt like, oh my gosh. I was like, what am I doing wearing this hot clothing? The really? The really? I was going to wear a hat. Thank goodness I wear a hat. Wait, the really? His brother's eating this stuff. I To worship the Lord, right? Yes, God bless you, God bless you. Jesus said it. There you go, Crystal. Got to do it now. Thank you, Thank you, If we have time, God bless you, Jenna. You excited? Oh, so John is invited to listen to the broadcast. Hey, my guy. There you go. Helpful, Michael Sherman. Our family is going to die for us. Yes. Oh, 
And then son of, amen, praise the Lord, the late, amen, Kino Garcia. And it feels weird to say, Kino, amen, praise the Lord, Garcia, the late, amen. But that was a man, I talk about top of the line accordion, professional accordionist, amen, who's gone over to be with the Lord last year when he got hit with COVID. So, amen, praise the Lord. But leaving behind that talent and that son of, amen, son of his, and he, you know, just grabbed that talent, even God, and took it another level. So, praise God for that, amen. God bless you, Michelle, 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 but a God, praise God for your testimony. But you know, people of God, I have a testimony, actually. I and mean, then I'm looking at the prayer request here, body of Christ. I'm looking at, this is a broadcast. We look at a program broadcast. I said broadcast. Broadcast of hope and faith. Many God's people know Jesus is the answer, okay? People, just don't forget that, amen? Because we all know that there's a lot of hard times, people of God, amen? All over the will in our families, even our, our own marriages, families, our own bodies, our own churches. But body of Christ, there is a God who is able to save, heal, set free, and deliver. Hay un Dios de poder, hermano, que todavía puede sanar, salvar y hacer mucho grande milagro y prodigio. Pero sabes que, mi hermano, se me estaba viendo, mi hermano, se me, mi esposo vino, nos compartió una petición, hermanos, que sea mi le estaba compartiendo a nosotros que oráramos por su suegra, que porque por esta, ahorita, mi hermano, dice que no la aseguran, hermanos, hermano, vivir por la noche, porque right. tiene, mi hermano, se me influencia. Then it flew, okay? And make preserve. So, and make preserve. I'm looking at the note that my husband has shared with us to pray for Samuel Lewis's. And make preserve. Samuel Lewis is asking for prayer for his mother in law who is saying she got very, very severely uh, sick. And man, who the doctor is saying she may yeah. not make it through the night because she has the flu and it's gone through yeah. such a, uh, you know, people have died. Well, and man, yesterday, Marta Sebedo, and man, preserve, who know very well, was a member of our church for many years. And man, preserve, she called me yesterday and we were at lunch because we don't know this yet. I don't. And she said that she was, uh, that God saved her, that God preserved her life because she, yeah. amen, preserve, was literally dead. Her heart stopped. And like, what happened to you? And man, praise God, because she's like, uh, always, you know, talking to me, and I talked to her back and forth, and man, praise the Lord. But she was telling me that she had the flu, and that she went to Lake Jackson, and Lake Jackson, I guess they took her to Galveston, and that she had the flu, like, really bad, that it got her to extreme, amen, extreme, amen, praise the Lord, that, amen, her heart literally stopped. Amen, praise God, but she wants to give thanks to God, because God, people of God, amen, did not allow that. All of them, she flatlined, and then they didn't even try to bring her back they just like let it go and then all of a sudden she came yeah. back but you know people of God she wanted to give God praise because that is a testimony people of God of God's power and might so yes people of God you might that line you might get that bad news like this is the last night you'll be alive or or uh, family amen praise the Lord prepare everything because you know might not make it well people of God we always say that God has the last word so nosotros siempre decimos que Dios tiene la última palabra y queremos siempre hermanos amen darle mi hermanos esperanza hermanos y fe al pueblo que porque nunca se sabe uno ahorita Marta Acevedo estaba compartiendo ese testimonio, hermano Michelle Baragán que está ahí también escuchando, también dijo, él me pensó que hermano ella también, hermano, está bien internado, mi hermana es al hospital aquí en Lake Jackson, la llevaron a otro hospital, hermano, y dijeron bronquitis, y luego le dijeron, mi hermano, que tenía pulmonía, hermano, se me que estaba más enferma, mi hermano, con mucho dolor, hermano, se me los pulmones, tú sabes, hermano, que es la, la pulmonía. Bueno, mi hermano, es que oró, mi hermano, su mamá, Virginia, oró su hermano, Robert y Rosalina Baragán, y oraron por ella, y hermano, al instante, mi hermano, desmaneció total sana. Cuando dice el verso, lo que yo creo en un Cristo de milagros, porque es lo que nos dice su palabra. I believe in a God of miracles. We believe in a God of miracles. Why? Because that is what the word of God say. Amen. Somebody God was even testifying that morning. Amen. I saw her face the best. It's really testifying. It gives people hope and faith. Amen. That when they're going through or a family member is going through, they will not give up. They will not give in. Amen. To the word of a, a, man, a, a, a doctor or a fact, I mean, it can be an actual fact, it's right there in black and white, amen, this is what this, the situation is, this is a sickness or disease, amen, and it does not look good, but body Christ, if we can just grab onto the word of the Lord by his stripes, we were healed, and then believe God and have faith, and say, God Almighty, you are the only one that was able, when we go to God this way,
way by the Christ. And he's sending his word, people of God. They hands on the sick and the sick will recover. And she gives God praise because God healed her from Lake Jackson to another hospital. And then with bronchitis. And then people of God with pneumonia. And Mary, praise the Lord. And Mary, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God that she received a sense of God with just a laying on of hands by servants of God. Robert Baragan, Rosalina Baragan, and their mother. And then Virginia Urias, Rinobos. And Mary, people of God, that is nothing but the Lord. And I want to give God praise and glory because that is a to God a testimony to give us faith and hope that no matter what you are going through, no matter what you will go through, God is our healer. Yo sé, mi hermano, es que muchas veces uno pierde esperanza, pierde la fe, porque el nombre, mi hermano, no se ve bien. Hermano, si siente uno, mi hermano, es bien mal. Y hermano, si no sabemos, hermano, si Dios me, va, Dios me puede sanar, ¿Será, mi hermano, es cierto que Dios me puede sanar? Si es cierto, porque la palabra de Dios lo dice, y Dios no es hombre para que mienta ni hombre para que se arrepienta. Si Dios lo dijo, Dios lo hace. God is not that man that he will lie, neither the son of man that he will repent. If God said it, Crystal, if God said it, will not he do it by the Christ? Yes, he will. So to God be the glory, glory to God. And I see John, John watching and listening there. I remember John, John was also very, very, very sick with COVID. And then I believe he was in wow. Houston. Even so see many people. Today what he posted. I didn't see it. What did he, he say? He posted an accident that he was in. Oh wow! Well, I didn't know that. Well, see, God, God is, is and, preserved, and it was it was bad. It was hit by a sixteen-year-old jump driver. Yes. And then you know, oh. yeah. And so in his comments, literally today, I put. You know, I'm glad you're alive. Like, God has a plan. It, that's definitely what it is. I told him that from the COVID situation. God, God has, a has a plan for you, mijo. And I will say it again. God has a plan for you, mijo, in the name of Jesus. And what we need to do is not be God on his promises. Oh, I'm not going to do this, God. I'm not going to do that, God. Don't make no promises to God. This promises, we will pray. Sure. We just go to God every day. You know, Father God, let your will be done in my life. That's all we do. Yo no le hago promesas a Dios porque yo me he dado cuenta que yo la riego, mi hermano. Cuando digo, voy a hacer algo... No la hago y que otro pueblo no lo voy a prometer nada a Dios. Digo, Padre Santo, un día a la vez, un día a la vez, ayúdame nomás a hacer tu voluntad. Y así es. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have Amen. ready. That's good, Sister Pepe. Pastor Jimmy you. V and the boys. Yay. And we're going to kick it old school. And it's a Yeah. Number six. He said another one. Another one. I always say number six. I always expecting that. And this one is there.
Yes, amen. Bummer. God is able to do everything you need. And I just give God praise for that. Amen. Sorry, that was Jordan. That. Yeah, that was. Amen. For, sorry, everybody. Yes, I was thinking that. You know what? Jordan is going to be fire. Like, right right before Johnson I got it, it just when right. I say, look at him singing it, and I, I should have just said, you know, who the baby, but in my eyes, my baby don't do nothing wrong, so I thought, oh, he ain't going to do it. Oh, he does. Uh, but he did. Yeah. Well, guys, I'll, I'll read what I was telling my mom yesterday. It's not, it's nothing wrong. Oh, it's an awesome topic, everybody. Listen in. It's no, amazing. It, it's just, yesterday I was listening, before services, I tried yeah. to get in the zone. Yes. And I was listening to a, a preaching, yeah. and it wasn't even about what this was. He was just talking about yeah. uh, his version of Christmas and, like, what Jesus did, you know? Mm-hmm. And he was like, to me, this is Christmas. Well, he was talking about um, uh, the man, you know, who needed prayer. And now his friends couldn't get him in. Oh, yes. The lame man. Yes. So they brought yes. him through the roof. Yes. And he was like, just talking about how he, how creative his friends were. And I just yeah. found that and just started right. thinking about that. Oh, like, yeah. I stopped listening and I was like, man, you know, I want to be that friend. I want to yes. be that friend that has someone who needs something and, you know, I move, you know, <laughs> and then, you know, yeah. Or to get, to get my friend help, you know what I mean? And yes. I call my mom, like, what if we talk about friendship? Like, Having good friends, because I think we all know what it's like to have a good friend. Maybe not. Mom, didn't you say you don't know what it's like to have, like, no. a best friend that you can go to? And no. honestly, you know who my I best friends are? I really wish I did. It's like John and you, Angel and Michelle. Yeah. But if we, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's my family. Those yeah. are my friends. Yes. But anyways, here's just something, because it happens to all of us, you know, when we think we have a friend, and... And first Corinthians six and thirty three says, "Don't be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Oh, yes. So be careful who you hang out with yes. because they influence you, how you speak, how you think." Yes. Very and um, I even I told my mom, I think I even mentioned this. You know, whenever you hang out with a group of people, whether it be at work or or home, you begin to talk like the people you're with. You know, you begin to think the people that you're with. Like me and John, I think it's so funny. I told y'all we're so in sync. Something will hear something, and I say something, and John was thinking it, or, or vice versa. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. But I was just thinking about how important it is to even have somewhere to go to. Es importante tener amigo, mi hermano, siempre porque a uno le van a influenciar, pero la atmósfera de uno, mi hermano, es importante porque te van a ayudar levantarte o también, hermano, se me caía. Right, and like First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians five eleven says, encourage one another, build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. And I'm like thinking, I, I want that. I don't want to go to that friend who's going to yeah. corrupt me and say, oh, no, girl, do yeah. this. Because I know my mom preached that. What was, was it? that? What was that? First Thessalonians. Primera Thessalonians. By the way. Sí, we don't say. Because remember even you said whenever you hang out with a certain group, your thoughts change. Yeah. And your friends will be like, come on, honey, girl, let's go do this. I think that's what you said. Mm-hmm. I forgot what she said exactly, but she made me laugh because she was like, Speaking to the youth, but my mom, she's funny because she was talking like she thinks the youth talk. And she's like, come on, like hey, I girl. think the youth talk? Yeah, because they don't sound like that. But it's, it's okay. Cricket, cricket, new generation. It's okay. <laughs> we'll leave that to Stevie. Anyways, I'm just saying, if you don't have a friend, like, be that friend to somebody else. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Lord, you know I said, I have friends. Now, I'm very, I don't tell everybody mm-hmm. what goes on with me. Yes. If I have an argument with John, I try to keep it in-house. Mm-hmm. And the only ones that maybe know any something are maybe my mom. Yes. Angel. I think you need to keep it that way, honestly. And, and when honestly, it's those type of things, maybe not even that. That is best. And, I, and, and I'm just saying anything. I don't just go and say, and unless I feel like I there are things that I'm transparent about and I'll share with you guys. Yes. After I've been through it and I've overcome it, then I'll come and share with y'all. Like, oh, y'all. Testimony. You know, this happened, but this is how God, whatever. Yes. But yes. But I want to be that person that if you're listening, like if you have something that you can call me and say, hey, Crystal, I need this. And I'm going to be like, you know what, friend, I got you. I'm going to do this. And it happened this morning when one of my yes. friends who um, she's not safe. Right. Mm-hmm. And and I'm very careful how I, I speak to her because there have been times where she kind of tells me something and I'm coming from a good place. But to her, I, you know what I mean? And so some, I, I hold back, and I feel like I have answers for you. I, I know how to help you, yeah. but I know you don't want it, and I know you'll take it wrong. Oh. But today she sent me something, and she said, y'all pray for me. She said, I woke up, and the devil is um, 
attacking me in my sleep. She was saying something wow. about how it was like a lion or a beast or something that was attacking her right yeah. before it was about to kill her. She it. wakes up. Mm-hmm. And so I'm and so you know what? I was like, you know what? I, I sent her a scripture. And I told her, oh, we have to be ready because the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, right? Yeah. And like a roaring lion seeking whom right. he may devour. And then I said to her, but you know, the devil can't touch you. You're good. You just can't touch you. Leave the blood of Jesus over you. That's literally what I was telling her. Right. And it's funny because Lord God. my friend, she's not, I don't, I don't, I don't think she's safe. So for me to say things like this, when you, you know, if you don't have an unsafe, you have an unsafe friend, they're probably like, what are you talking about? Leave the blood of Jesus. You know? But at least she knew that it was the devil. Right. So she did. Yeah, because, and I, good. so then I told her, you know, just, Leave the butter Jesus over yes. you, you know, yes. you'll be fine. And because mm-hmm. no weapon before making yourself prosper. So I oh, sent you the scripture of Isaiah yes. 54. Yes. And it's funny because I think she'll accept more for my other friends. Like my friend will say something and she'll hearty. And I sent this and it was cricket, cricket. It was oh, like, crazy. whatever. Crazy. When she's ready, it yeah. hurt God, you know, she'll, she'll. You sow a seed, mommy. Right. And this is what I said. I said, because yeah. she said she woke up and she prayed. And I said, you did exactly what I would have done. And I sent the scripture with the scripture and I highlighted it. And I said, when stuff like this happens to me, it said it makes you feel fearful because it's natural to wake up and be scared and look in the dark and yeah. you know and I told her, but then I listen to praise and worship music and it changes the atmosphere in my room. Praying for you. And I'm praying that one day, like yes. <laughs> one day she'll it accept. Will. It will. You know what I mean? will. I was even thinking of sitting that song, it is Fred Hammond, I think it's that song. No, no weapon. Oh, okay, get on my head. Oh, That's what you were talking about. Yeah. When you're so in tune, you're in sync because of the atmosphere, the right. the, the, the the communication, the relationship. Right. You begin to think the same, right? So I, I yeah, didn't send the song. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Yeah, I didn't get nothing back, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna. No. I'm not one to like throw it all on you hardcore. I was always going to sprinkle it in there, and, and you know, maybe she'll go yeah. back and read it. Maybe she just didn't have time. I don't know. Yeah. But I'm praying that God just work. God's or you open, my friend. you open up the scripture to right. her and she's going to understand. So don't give up on your friends. Never. Be the friend that's going to, yes. you know, make a way, be creative and, and yes. get them to Jesus. You know, yes. that's the ultimate goal. That's it. That's it. That's so goal. I have these two and then Jesus said it. Do we have time for all three? Uh, yes, we do. But I wish you would do Jesus said it first. I could do Jesus said it first. Yes. Say something for Jesus. Right okay, there. praise God. Uh, when she's talking, she's pretty, pretty much, amen, praise God, saying in Spanish. I'm going to say in Spanish because that was so important. Hermanos, se meten, tenemos que tener, hermanos, saber que ella le estaba hablando a su amiga, mi hermano, porque estaba pasando por algo, pero deje que Dios lo use, mi hermano, se amén. Si Dios, hermano, más es de sembrar una semilla, porque quizás ahorita no la recibe, quizás ahorita piensa, no, por no sé, no me recibió, no me aceptó, pero mi hermano, el Espíritu Santo hace la obra, él va a tocar el corazón, él va a abrir el entendimiento, y hermanos, y Dios se va a comenzar, hermano, a manifestarse en ella y en cada persona que está, hermanos, en este momento, hermanos, escuchando. This is what we do. We lift up Jesus. We tell people Jesus is the answer. We give them faith. We give them hope because all through the word of the Lord, you will see the miracles in the New Testament where it say, when they heard about Jesus, come on, I'm going to go and touch him. I know if I touch him, I, I know if I touch his name is God, I'm going to be healed. Then you he heard about Jesus. Well, go and come upon a tree. Imam Zacchaeus, come on. People of God, Amen. Standing on the, on the on the sycamore tree, come on, because why? Because he heard of Jesus, Amen. I'm on Mark, Amen. Chapter four, you gotta look at this body of Christ, even Jairus, Amen. His daughter is Amen. Uh, so sick that she's going to die. You heard about Jesus? Come on, people of God, leave your temple, leave your synagogue, and let me go look for Jesus because somebody's talking about what God is doing, and that's what we want to do, body of Christ. Queremos hablar de las cosas que Dios está haciendo, hermanos. Que Dios está con hermanos. Se viene nuestra hermana, se viene mi chamara gan. Se no me hermana, se la hermana Marta se ve lo se me salió a mí. Se no me hermanos a todos ustedes que están sintonizando, hermana la hermana. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ah, Jessica Baraja necesita oír eso. Amen. Christopher Baraka necesita oír esto. Hermano, la mamá de hermano Semen, pues el orden, hermano de, de Samuel, hermano Elisa Luis, hermano, está pasando también, hermano, está agonía, mi hermano en flu, hermano Semen, necesita oír, hermano, que Dios es un sanador. You know, people, God, there's so many people that are just waiting and hear good news, come on, an honest report, a good thing, people, of God, that God is still a healer, yes. It's not just back in the day, people, of God. God is healing today, people, of God. All it is is you gotta just hear it, but we got to say it. We got to preach it, people of God. That's the come I share all the time. You know, buddy, Christ, y'all know that I had not been feeling well. I did not make it to the radio because I was just like, I was just not feeling well. I was just trying all through the week and then put on a smile, put on a, a, 
a brave face, you know, be at the broadcast Monday, because actually I, I started to feel bad Monday night, and then I came to the broadcast, went to church, went to the broadcast, and then friends, on Thursday, and, and I just tried to be brave, trying to like overcome that feeling, and then, but then I was like, man, I can't get over it, but body of Christ, church yesterday too, saying thank you God that I'm not preaching today, because I don't like to, amen, but so I will do it, I will do it, it's not going to stop me, but I like to do it when I'm well, so that I can not have no hindrance, but praise God, my son was like, I got it, Bob, praise the Lord, so body of Christ, I woke up this morning feeling so much better, amen, because you know, baby God, God answers prayer, I know that Miko is praying for me, and my family is praying for me, and my church okay. is praying for me, and I know a lot of you were praying for me, because you said it on the last, amen, um, uh, uh, Saturday, where I said, I will not be on the broadcast tonight, today, because I am not feeling well, so much love, people of God, and so much words of encouragement, people of God, and God came through for us, and he heard them prayers, and he healed my body, so this is why, by the Christ, we come together, letting everybody know, you're not alone, tú no estás solo, estamos hermano, como dice Mika, hermano, agarrar amigos, amigos que van a querer con nosotros, mi hermano, amén, amigos que van a pararse en la brecha, hasta que Dios nos sane, y así fue mi hermano, doy gracias a Dios por la sanidad de mi cuerpo, por ustedes, por mí, por mis hijos, por mi esposo, por la iglesia, hermano, que estaba orando por mí, y ahora mi hermano amanecí muy bien, bendito sea el santo nombre del Señor, and pray for Fatima Sanji, his mama, still pray for Miss Vasquez, mija, and God willing will be in bad for me, this weekend, in the name of Jesus, as I always God's will, because we never know, amen, praise the Lord, yeah, Jesus said it. Jesus said it. I put the wrong word. Believe on me. My bad. Believe on me. Not that real. It's my ears. The one of God said it. Scripture said it.
los que quepan hermanos y les que le Dios quiera mi hermano que quema hermanos unos 100, 80, 200, vamos a llevar dinero, vamos hermanos se ven Jacob, hermanos y que van a llevar hermanos se ven comida, van a tener hot dogs, amen, uh, uh, chips hermanos y soda y gift bags para todos y hermanos se ven vamos a regalar a ocho personas hermanos dinero para que también puedan ser de bendición para sus familias el comprar el mandado o lo que necesitan amen, so people of God amen, thank you Jesus, that we always go to do that and now it's growing because we're even going to have Santa and Mrs. Claus and we're going to have Christmas bears two Christmas bears, so hallelujah it's going to be amazing, so we're excited but thank you Chimeli Bacasar because she already had everything ready people enough for us to go, and the best weather this like this, if it's too freezing, it's too cold amen, then we'll do it here, and I'm like oh my god, this woman already had everything ready, and I didn't want to bother her, amen, praise the Lord so that is amazing to me, and man esperamos hermano que Dios sane a todo aquel hermano, amen, you might have a family member that is going through cancer, you might have a family member and then that is going through, and then dialysis, is going through chemotherapy radiation, and then come on somebody or glory God has a flu has COVID, and then come on somebody whatever sickness it is, and it might not even be you, but it might be someone that you love, and that friendship that Mika's talking about, says I'm already preaching mama, find it in the book for me, on Mark chapter 4 verse 1, and then praise the Lord the word of the Lord is so powerful this is where we get the things that we say from we don't just dream it and it's to speak it it is in the word of the Lord amen in book of Mark people of God thank you Jesus I believe it was book of Mark chapter 4 amen praise the Lord that, that story yes it is no it is not no it is not hey right, find it for me I thought it was in Mark 4 amen praise the Lord thank you Jesus amen that about the friends amen praise the Lord is that, did I get it confused with Matthew no I want to read the there's two of them Matthew and Mark I thought it was chapter Mark it is chapter mark verse one it is it there yeah it is okay well praise god there it is thank you jesus and i i i i, I. was it right no yes no yes no maybe so i don't know find it yeah because i don't i don't see it there amen praise the lord the friends amen miren nomás hermano como estaba mi hablando porque nosotros estamos hablando de relaciones hermanos de amistades okay amistades amen what kind of friend do you have what kind of friend are you investing your life in and how I mean what kind of friends are you investing your time and your love and everything in amen praise the Lord let's jump there too yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, yeah, it is Mark, but it's chapter 2. Amen, praise the Lord. So in the book of Mark, chapter 2, Libro de Marcos, en el capítulo, amen, praise the Lord, dos. Amen, praise the Lord. So that is chapter 2, Antalia, if you would change, amiga. Amen, Mark, chapter 2, amen, praise the Lord. The word of the Lord says, Marcos dos, hermanos, ¿ok? ¿Qué tipo de hermanos y amigos estamos teniendo y con qué comprate, hermanos, de tipo de compañía me estamos, hermanos, amen, envueltos, ¿ok? So look at this, ancient God. Amen, praise the Lord. In chapter 2, verse 1, the word of the Lord says that Jesus was entered in Capernaum. Amen, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, some days. And it was noise that Jesus was in the house. Ya siga dicho que Jesucristo estaba ahí, hermanos, en la casa, ahí en Capernaum. Dice mi hermanos que de repente, mi hermano, inmediatamente se juntaron muchos hermano, manera que ya no cabían hermano, ni en la puerta, hermano si les predicaba la palabra de Dios so people that got what people heard, you see what people got, what we gotta talk about, and we gotta testify what Jesus is doing because he said, when the people heard amen, praise the Lord, that Jesus was in the house amen, praise God, the people of God gathered, amen, praise the Lord, together amen, praise the Lord, said, there was not even any room to receive them people of God, not even so much, even at the door, and he preached to them the word of God Amen, praise the Lord, in verse 3, and they came to him, bringing one sick, amen, of the palsy, which was, amen, born of four. And mamá le trajeron a hermano a Jesucristo cargado, un paralítico, mi hermanos, cuatro amigos de él. Fíjese lo que dice la palabra. Amen. Pues, y cuando no podían entrar, hermanos, se acercaban la hermano, pero no podían entrar. Descubrieron el techo, mi hermanos, de mente donde estaba. Y haciendo, mi hermanos, una abertura, bajaron el lecho, mi hermanos, en que ya es el paralítico. So, body Christ, look at this word of the Lord. Four friends. Come on, people, God. What type of friend do you got? Are these friends willing to do what these four friends are doing for these paralytic people of God? The word of the Lord says, he's a God, when they could not get in because it was so few. Amen. They uncovered the rough. Amen. Praise the Lord. And there, people of God, he was, amen. Thank you, Jesus. And he broke it up. And they let down the bed where in the sick of the palsy lay. Now, this paralytic man, people of God, he's paralyzed. Come on, people of God. He cannot do this by himself. And there's some things that people of God, I can't do this by myself. Amen. I just need somebody to talk to you, somebody to be with me, somebody to just let me cry on their shoulder. Or you know, people of God, they don't need to give me all this 
just advise him to say nothing to me, but just be in ear, just so that I can speak. A friend, people of God. Un amigo, un amigo, mi hermano. Es que una vez en hermano, ve cuando nosotros necesitamos ese amigo. Este tipo de personas que podemos confiar. Ese, mi hermano, tenemos que tener las respuestas, hermano, y hablar y hablar. No, a veces en quién puedo, mi hermano, confiar, en quién puedo, hermano, platicar y a desahogarme, mi hermano, se me llorar con ellos. Y uno pide que ellos, you know, just stand on my shoulder, let him cry on my shoulder. I might not have the answers, but you know what? I'm here. You know, come on, you ain't by yourself. That type of friend. But in this case, Peace, God. There was a paralyzed man, and man, praise the Lord, and he, people of God, thank you, Jesus, there's no way he's going to make it to this house where Jesus was, and when they see that the crowd in there, people of God, can't even get to the door, amen, that was not going to stop him, because we got a friend, come on, somebody, we got a friend, amen, he needs help, he needs deliverance, he needs healing, he needs a miracle, and I hear that Jesus is a healer, I hear that Jesus is a miracle maker, come on, people of God, a miracle worker, promise keeper, my God, and who, come on, people of God, I trust Well, people have got words and words and words about until we act on the word of God. Faith come by hearing, hearing the word of God, and faith without works is dead. Digamos, hermano, pues yo tengo amigos que son cristianos, o yo tengo hermanos, hermanos, pues, hermanos, hermanos, amigos que son creyentes, hermanos, y es bonito, mi hermano, pero ¿quién lo dice aquí la palabra? Que cuando estos amigos vieron, hermano, a su amigo, ellos saben bien que no se puede levantar el hermano a la casa, hermano, donde se encontraba Jesucristo, y pero cuando lo están llevando ahí en su lecho, no se puede ni meter ni la puerta, mi hermano, pero ¿sabes qué? Búsquele, búsquele, a ver cómo le vamos, no llegamos hasta acá, yo que no, hermanos, abrieron, hermanos, parte del tema hecho, y hermanos y hermanos descubrieron y echaron hermanos en el hecho para abajo y ahí lo presentaron a Jesucristo hermanos, en otra palabra, no se iba a andar en él, este hombre este amigo, es mi amigo, hermanos y hermanos, yo voy a buscar la manera en donde yo pueda ayudarle, porque yo lo amo, cuando dice, hermanos, yo quiero que Dios lo levante, que Dios le haga un milagro porque ya no lo quiero ver así, cuando dice, hermanos, so I love the story people of God, because this friend, this friend people of God, come on, cannot do nothing he is, amen, lame, he is paralyzed. Come on, people of God. Thank you, Jesus. And the word of God said, but he had four friends. And then this is why I say to you, what kind of friends do you have? Are you? Do you have them friends that are loving you so much, that are not going to give up on you, that no matter what you're going through, I'm going to, I've got you. Amen. I've got your hand. I've got you in prayer. Amen. And God is a healer. Yes. And God can do all this. And yes. But you know, people of God, I am going to go take you. I'm going to go take you to God in prayer. I'm going to go pick you up and take you to the house of God. I am going to go. Amen. I am going to to get on a fast. I am going to pray. I am going to believe. Even when you can't. Come on, somebody. This is exactly people of God. Amen. Glory to God. The type of friend that this man had. Because they got there, can't get in. But hey, that ain't going to stop us. We didn't come this far to go back. Amen. They made a, a hill on the roof and they put him down on that bed and they just let Jesus have his way. Hermano, nosotros no somos los que sanamos, nosotros no tenemos ningún poder de sanar, pero cuando llevamos al enfermo, hermano, lo presentamos a Jesucristo, Jesucristo es el que hace la obra, Jesucristo lo sana, Jesucristo le dice, levántate, toma tu lecho y anda, hermano, Jesucristo le dice, mi hermano, se sana de toda tu enfermedad, Jesucristo dice, mi hermano, cuando dicen amén, amén, ahora miras, ahora ves, amén, no donde está la lepra, amén, pues, Lord, ahora hable, mudos hablaban, ciegos veían, Hermanos, amen, hermanos, come on, people, like, leprosos serán sanados, limpiados, amen, praise the Lord, Juan de los muertos son resucitados, porque Jesucristo es el que hace la obra. So, body of Christ, my job in yours, amen, I've told you many times on that John 11 story, amen, lads, just come forth. I cannot lift up the dead man, but I can lift up the name of Jesus. I cannot lift up the dead man, but I can open the door. Come on, people, like, God, I can move away that stone, amen, I can take that, amen, person to the house of the Lord, I can preach of the word of God, I can read in the scripture so that he can continue to have faith and believe, amen, and give him some hope, I can, praise God, go to God in prayer, I can, amen, sacrifice my, amen, time, and I will fast, and I will get on a fast for my loved one, come on somebody, I will not give up on him, I will not give up on her, it does not matter if there is proof, and it is a fact that it is cancer, stage one, two, three, or four, amen, I am going to stand in the gap for my loved one, I am going to believe God for my loved one, and I thank God because my baby girl did always the same thing that I'm speaking to you today and not only mama but my other babies the same 
same thing. My church, the same thing. And I, people of God, am a woman of faith, and I stood up and prayed, and I believed God, and I stood it, and I praised God, and I spoke it, and I rebuked every type of sickness. But amen, come on, time went by, and every year, here we are, here we are, here we are, getting smaller, getting weaker. Now I don't want to eat, now everything is making me sick. And I'm thinking of the words that Dr. Friday told my mom. Amen. It told me people don't die of cancer. They die of starvation. Because when they have cancer, they don't want to eat no more. And that is literally what kills them. And here I am going through the same thing. I don't want to eat. It's making me sick. But people of God, now in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, now we're at that last stage now. Come on. I ain't wanting to eat. I'm literally skin and bones. But come on, somebody from Mary and Martha, for a crystal. Amen. For Nancy, for Thalia, for Nancy. Amen. For the, amen. For every one of you. Amen. Women and men of God that are standing and believing on the word of the Lord. That by his stripes. By his stripes. And if Jesus said it, he will do it. His word will not return back void. Glory to God. Hermano, este es el tipo de misterio, mi hermano, que estamos, hermanos, amen. Hermanos, amen. Hermanos, amen. Levantando para la gloria de Dios. Palabra que estamos predicando para darle, hermano, al pueblo ánimo. Para dar esperanza. Para llenarlo de fe. Si Dios sanó acá. Si Dios me sanó a mí. Si Dios sanó allá. Hermanos, ¿sabes qué? Hermanos, a la gloria. Hermanos, amen. Gloria sea en nombre del Señor. Porque yo sé lo que es, hermano. Yo sé cómo puede sentirse uno. Porque en el principio, hermano, esta enfermedad no es para muerte, sino para la gloria de Dios. Y ahí estoy, hermano, reprendiendo y atando, atando desatando en el nombre de Cristo con hermano valor y con fuerza, pero con el tiempo. En el nombre, hermano, como ya no estaba tan fuerte, mi hermano, ese mes, ya mi cuerpito se estaba desapareciendo. En mes ya me estaba deshaciendo. Ahora el dolor me está pegando. Ahora ya no puedo ni comer. Y nunca, mi hermano, se me olvidan las palabras, hermano, del doctor que me hablaba a mí de mi madre, que me decía, la persona no muere de cáncer. Lo que más a las personas que ya no comen y se mueren de hambre, y hermanos si yo veía eso en mi, en, mi hermano, en mi mamá todos los días y ahí estoy ahora si sí, yo ya no quiero comer, ya no puedo comer la comida me araña, yo ya no quiero hermanos se me estoy viendo pero gloria a Dios por la Marta hermanos se me y la María Rica, mis hijos, mi Angel mi Stevie, mi Shelly, amen JJ, John, mi iglesia hermanos que están orando y parándose en la brecha por mí, porque quizás, hermano, en el principio, amén, 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 y así, así, pero ya, mi hermano, es como hasta el fin, ¿será que Dios me va a llevar? ¿O será que Dios me quiere llevar? Quizás a la voluntad del Señor, pero alguien, ¿qué tipo de amigo, mi hermano, tienes tú? ¿Qué tipo, mi hermano, de persona te estás envolviendo? How, come on, mi hermano, it's important, we gotta get this in our spirit, what type of people are you surrounding yourself with? Are you surrounding yourself with people that are able to stand in the gap for you when you need a miracle, when you need help, when you just need a shoulder to cry on, or you're wasting your time with people that don't even care about you, they're jealous of you, I was watching on the news, and men resort, and men of a, a, a young lady that went with her friends, and men to, and men to Cabo, and they killed her, they already had it planned, we're gonna kill her, they killed her, they left her there, and they came back, oh my god, can you believe that, what kind of friends does she have, what kind of friends do you have, do you have friends like this, or do you have friends that don't even care about you, and you're investing time, and men love money, and men everything, You want to be there with your friend, you want to be there with but your friend might not care about you. If they care about you enough, you're standing the gap for you in prayer and encouraging you. And man, when you're down, when you're crying and letting you know, you know, I might not do nothing about it, huh? but I just want you to know that I'm here. I might not be able to do this or that, but you know what? You're not alone. I'm praying with you. I'm standing for you. And you know what? You can trust me. I just want to cry. I just want you, come on, and get better. You know, buddy, God, that's the kind of friend that you and I need. Es es el tipo de persona personas que tenemos que tener alrededor de nosotros porque nunca sabemos cuando nosotros estamos abajo nunca se sabe mi hermano yo predicando atando desatando viendo mucha gente sanar muchos milagros puede ver hermano ese men hermanos a no más a lujir hermano con aceite y la gente se sana pero ahora cuando llego yo hermano ese men ya no estoy tan fuerte así, mi hermano, ese men, aleluya, cuando vi sin gloria, pero bendigo Dios por las personas que Dios me puso en mi vida, que Dios puso a mi lado, yo por eso no tengo el círculo grande, mi hermano, ese men, de gente que me rodea, es poquito, pero es un poco, sé, que me tiene de hermano, ese men, pues yo en oración, me aman a tal punto que van a batallar conmigo, van a ir a la batalla y para hacer la mera prenda para mí, that's the kind of friend you and I need, we need a friend that's going to stand in the front of the battle, It's not going to be afraid if they talk about them and they criticize them. If they come up and come against them, they're going to stand in the front for that you 
can come over and you can overcome and you can live so that you can have the faith and the power and the courage to fight back in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank God. My circle is not big, people of God. It's my church, my work, and my home. That is it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for the new friends God gave me now. The church family. Amen. That I'm missing you here. Raul Menchaca. Amen. Raul Creación. Maria Rubio. All of you precious people. But the circle is small. I surround myself around people that are going to love me enough to pray for me. Just like that last message, I was touching some people of God because I saw so many people. Amen. Linda Machado Quintero. I, I just love you, Pastor. Just pray with you. So many people pray with you. Believe in God. A lot of people, believers and unbelievers, but they love me enough to pray and they love you enough to pray. That's the kind of person you need to keep in your, amen, amen, in your surroundings. That's the kind of person you need to have in your life because this man received a healing. He received a miracle. Amen. Because they need you. They knew he could not do it, people of God. But if you can, we can. Ellos sabían, hermanos, que este hombre no es solo. No puede. Pero nosotros sí. Nosotros estamos, hermanos, sanos. Vamos a llevarlo. Y no lo vamos a dar tampoco. No lo van a regresar. No lo van a regresar. Nosotros venimos para que Jesucristo lo sanara. Y sabe que, mi hermano, así fue. Jesús lo sanó. Él recibió mi lauro. Él salió de ahí caminando, mi hermano. Él salió de ahí sano. ¿Por qué, mi hermano? Porque Dios tiene el poder. Pero también porque había cuatro amigos que no se iban a dar en él. Y, hermanos, ese es el tipo de hermano de amistad, hermano, de relaciones que nosotros tenemos que tener. This is the type of relationship. This is the type, amen, come on, people of God, uh, amen, family and friends. I need to surround myself with. Glory to God, that are going to love me enough to pray with me. Amen. They're going to love me enough to stand in the gap for me. Because I know my baby, amen. When I would not pull up at my office next door, she was at the office and she said, I felt a pit in my stomach. She knew something was wrong. If my mind at work, something is wrong. Can somebody say amen? But by the Christ, amen, it might even cost me. I might even have a pit in my stomach. I might have to cry. I might have to fast. I might, amen, come on, be, be a little worried and fearful sometimes. But you know what? I am not going to give up, and that that's the type of people, family, friends, body of Christ, relationships, you need to surround yourself with, so that you, people of God, and I, at these times, hard times are coming, people of God, and I believe some people are already experiencing these hard times, the body of Christ, when you can surround yourself, church people, I don't just go to any church, everybody. Come on now. Thank you, Jen. Love them. I love them all. But I don't just go and just everybody's my my brother, my sister, and I'm just going to be there every day. I have a very small circle because I know who people of God I can trust in and can, and, and can, how do you say that word, can depend on to help me through. And I thank God because there's my Crystal, John, Aiden, and Jaden. My Shelly, my angel, and Stephen. Hashem Isael, Minister Mary, Amen, Pastor Sulema, Ramiro Martinez, and the Church of Jesus is the answer. They were the ones standing in the gap for me. When they didn't see me, what's wrong? Every, every service, they laid hands on me in prayer. That's why I am here. Small circles are okay. As long as you know those people will go through hell and back for you and pray you through when you need help the most. And amen. Thank you, Jesus, for that word, Crystal. We're going to pray for Pastor Alicia. Oh, no, that's the last one. Sorry. We're going to pray for John Quintana. You already saw where Veronica said, my husband is going for surgery on his culin. We're going to pray for the man of God's surgery to be well. Amen. And for the glory of God, let it all be well. Come on, and they're not receiving anything else. Praying for Juan Hernandez Jr., who just found out today that he has cancer in his stomach. Pray for Sam Lewis, his mother-in-law, who has the flu and is told already she's not going to make it through the night. Very sad. Pray for Fatima Sanchez, his mama, who I know very well, Miss Vasquez, who was at our school every day and the lunch line collecting our money. Amen. We're going to believe God and pray and stand in the gap for these individuals. I want to pray for my husband too because my husband's like, I'm coming down with a kill or I don't know, I'm going to rebuke that. Say, so, honey, we got to go to Van Horn. <laughs> Come on now. So believe me, God, for my husband's healing. For everybody there, the woman, Chaka, Chris, Chris, yes, Christopher, Barajas, 
Sister Lupita, oh, Sister Lupita is really sick too. Believing in God for healing and God's people. You know, body Christ, like I want to check right there. So they're our family. Pastor Jerry, amen. Evangelist Jerry, Pastor Jimmy, amen. Pastor Jesse Campos, they people of God, I know we'll be praying for you. We are all going to be praying for you. All the ministers and, and members of the gospel and those of you that are believers of faith and know that God is able, we are going to stand and believe right now. Father God, touch Maria Rubio. Touch Father God. Lupita Block. Christopher Barajas. Touch John Quintana. Juan Hernandez. Samuel Lewis's mother-in-law. Fatima Sanchez's mother, Mrs. Vasquez. Praying for Christopher Barajas and Lupita Block. God Almighty. Believing for my husband, Rafael Ashigura. Praying, Holy Spirit of God, that you minister your health. Lord God, manifest health and healing to every person that we're praying for right now. We bind and we come against all sickness and disease. Flu. Flu, mighty God. Touch this body, God. Touch this woman. I know Sister Lou, Lisa is a woman of God and she's standing in the gap for her mama. I know that she's praying. I know that she's crying out to you, God. Hear her cry. Hear our prayers, oh God. Hear our prayers, oh God. And I thank you, God, that you hear us, God. I pray and we believe for everybody on this list, God. We mentioned the names. I thank you that Pastor Alicia and Jerry's daughter went home. She was well. She got to be with her baby, God. And we believe, Father God, for everybody else. Thank you for the healings that you gave Michelle Baragan, that you gave Marta Severo, myself. God Almighty, but there's so many more that need a healing today. And we speak the word of health, healing. Healing is your children's bread. And by your stripes, they are all healed, God. We all know that your will would be done. But we bring them to you because we know that you can turn it around. You can turn the words around that Samuel Lewis is talking to us about. You are able to turn it around just like you did, Hezekiah, God. You can turn it around, Father. We do not give up, Father God. We trust you and we go to you always because you are our healer. And to God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. And you, Mama, is going to be the winner for the $25 giveaway. All of these people I'm looking at, April Manzano, Nancy Aloysio, Rose Gallego, and Mechanica de Isabeli Ortiz. And then I'm can see there's a bunch. I'm trying to, well, there's a bunch. Wow. A lot of you, I can't even see it. It's so small. So many people that the letters got smaller. Really? Hugh is going to be the ready? winner for the $25. Here we go. Don't forget, Bad War, Texas. Pray for us, everybody. Pray that we go through, have a beautiful turnout, and that people could be healed in Jesus Christ. Mighty, 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 mighty name. Yes, to God, God be the glory. Okay, Christian, you call it. Who is the winner tonight? Nancy Aloiso. To God be the glory, Nancy Aloiso. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Congratulations to Nancy Aloiso. The winner of $25. Maria Rubio, Nelly Badrasan, and Thomas Iver, all won on the last broadcast. Actually, they have won. Only one winner.
Sunday. Sunday. Sister Diana, we're going to try to go Wednesday at 6. Or Naya is an angel and it's a shadow way, so she's literally going to walk she's across the stage. She's an angel. Behind a sheet when it says the angel. So, if she wants to go, if you want to do Sunday, she can follow the book. We love you so much, everybody. Please keep us in prayer as we love you. God bless you. Jesus loves you.